Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far-fetched as it may seem. In fact, both local San Francisco papers are investing a lot of money to try and get to service just like that started. Science editor Steve Newman reports on one person already using the brand new system. 17 stories up in his fashionable North Beach apartment, Richard Halloran is calling a local number that will connect him with a computer in Columbus, Ohio. Meanwhile, across town in this less than fashionable cubbyhole at the San Francisco Examiner, these editors are programming today's copy of the paper into that same Ohio computer. When the telephone connection between these two terminals is made, the newest form of electronic journalism lights up Mr. Halloran's television with just about everything the Examiner prints in its regular edition. That is, with the exception of pictures, ads, and the comics. Eight newspapers around the country are currently in the computer network, and within the next few weeks, three others will join in. This is an experiment. We're trying to figure out what it's going to mean to us as editors and reporters and what it means to the home user. And, and we're not in it to make money. We're uh, probably uh, uh, not going to lose a lot, but we aren't going to make much either. It's Both the Examiner and Chronicle began service within the last two weeks and printed full-page ads about it. Of the estimated two to 3,000 home computer owners in the Bay Area, the Chronicle reports over 500 have responded by sending back coupons. Even though the electronic newspaper isn't as spiffy looking as the ads imply, people using the system are excited about its potential. With this system, we have the option not only of seeing the newspaper on the screen, but also we, optionally we can copy it. So anything we're interested in, we could go back in again and copy it onto paper and save it which I think is, a great, is, is the future of the type of interrogation an individual will give to the newspapers. This is only the first step in newspapers by computer. Engineers now predict the day will come when we get all our newspapers and magazines by home computer, but that's a few years off. So for the moment at least, this fellow isn't worried about being out of a job. Steve Newman, U Center 4. Well, it takes over two hours to receive the entire text of the newspaper over the phone, and with an hourly use charge of $5, the new telepaper won't be much competition for the 20-cent street edition.